time, and for this time experiment, I would like to show you how ships float. Simplest boats, such as rafts, float because the material they are made out of is less dense or lighter than water. Here I make this simple boat made out of aluminum foil, and let's see if it floats. And it does. Why? The water that the object floats on pushes upward against the object. This force is called upthrust. Next experiment is called testing up thrust. So I'm going to put this ping pong ball into the water. It floats. Why? Because the object is light, so little upthrust is needed to push it up. Next, I'm going to put in the wooden object. It also floats. The difference is the wooden object floats deeper because it is more dense than the ping pong ball. And last, I'm going to put a marble. It sinks. Why? Because the marble is heavier than the upthrust. So, when the updress becomes the same as the object weight, the object floats. Next, we are going to test the density of the water. Here, I have two glasses. One of fresh water and one out of salt water. The density affects the object. Salt water that is more dense than fresh water. And I'm gonna put two objects which are made out of straw and clay and we're gonna see which one floats higher. So as you can see, the one in fresh water, it sinks, but the one in salt water, it is floating. Therefore, Ships will float slightly higher in sea salt water than in fresh water. Thank you for watching and I hope you like it.